Designed for long ice climbs or ski mountaineering ascents, the Osprey Mutant 38 is a great pack full of climbing friendly features for those days out in the mountains. Let's take a closer look. This pack is constructed with a 210D nylon dobby material throughout the main pack body and a 210D triple ripstop nylon in the accents and the base of the pack. So you get a great balance of durability and lightweight. The pack does come in two different sizes, small, medium, and medium, large, and it weighs in around two and a half pounds. So it is very lightweight for all the features that you get. Taking a look at the suspension system of the pack, we do have a fairly minimal suspension system. Inside the pack, there is a frame sheet and a single aluminum stay that goes right down the middle of the pack. They're gonna provide structure, some stability, but overall, it's fairly lightweight, so it's not meant to haul a whole lot of weight, so keep that in mind with your adventures. It can certainly still hold all your climbing gear and additional layers and emergency supplies, so it's definitely capable of carrying some weight. Those materials can be removed as well, so that single aluminum stay can be taken out if you want it to stay at home, and you can also remove that frame sheet as well to go even lighter weight. In the back panel, we do have a comfortable foam airscape back panel, so fairly low profile foam here with a mesh top. Definitely breathable, it's gonna wick moisture, it's gonna dry quickly, it's not gonna be too cold or sweaty against the back, so very nice materials here. Durable foam in the shoulder straps as well, and it is cut for breathability, so you get a lot of breathability enhancements in that shoulder strap. The hip belt is a really unique design. We've got a minimally padded hip belt, and it is a reverse wrap style hip belt. So you've got a minimal strap and the hip belt strap. If you're wearing a climbing harness, you can kind of unleash those hip belt straps, use just the minimal strap to work with that climbing harness, and the padded portion can kind of flap back around the pack so it stays out of the way, doesn't interfere with your harness. So it's definitely a smart design. On that padded portion, however, there are gear loops and uh, ice tool loops as well. So you've got reinforced loops for ice tools and gear loops if you need them. So if you need to build a quick anchor for a rappel or to bring up a partner, you've got extra gear options there to do just that. The pack is also hydration compatible. On the inside, there is a sleeve for hydration and there is a pass through on either side for that hydration to come out. It's got a little H2O designation there so you know where it's coming from. So definitely a lot of smart features on the back panel of the pack. We do have a hood to access the pack. So it is a top loading pack, kind of a traditional top loading style. There are some cool features on the hood. We've got a standard pocket. You can store some gloves up there, some additional layers if you need them or emergency supplies. And on the front, we have a small slash pocket as well. If we open that up, there's actually a helmet sling inside that pocket. So you can use that lash it up over the top of the pack and that will hold your helmet nice and securely on the top of the pack. If you don't need that, it can be removed via these toggles here. So you can leave that at home if you don't plan to use it. The hood is removable. You can take the hood off completely and leave it at home as well. The pack does have a flap jacket kind of cover. So for lidless use, you do still have protection. So to remove that hood, there are just simple clips you can take that off completely and leave it at home. And like I said, that flap jacket is integrated. So all you have to do is drape that over the top of the pack, kind of reverse the buckles here, and it will clip to where the hood would originally clip to. Under that flap jacket, there is another small pocket. So we've got a mesh pocket on the inside of the pack you've got easy access to some additional items, some emergency supplies, or just things you need to keep secure. Then you can access the whole pack body, really easy to get to everything. You do have a compression strap there. You can use that to lash a rope if you need to, or just compress the gear that you have in the pack. Overall, it's got plenty of capacity for all your climbing equipment, so definitely a spacious pack for your gear. Some additional features on the pack do include compression straps on each side. So it is a single compression strap that runs the entire length top to bottom, and it can be removed again for the strippability of the pack to reduce the weight even further. But that compression strap is very convenient and you can lash gear under it 
or just compress what's in the pack. Also on the side, we have a reinforced uh, ski loop. So you've got an A-frame carry option with the pack. On each side, there is this reinforced loop to lash your skis for that A-frame carry. And on the front, we have dual tool lock attachments. So you've got reinforced attachments at the bottom and bungee tie-offs for your ice axes or mountaineering axes and a reinforced webbing piece on the front to lash the points of those ice tools. There are also additional webbing attachment points for crampons or any additional items you need to store on the front side of the pack. Overall, it's a very low profile pack, very convenient for climbing and ski mountaineering, plenty of space to haul all of your gear and a lot of strippable features to make it tailored to whatever you need. It is the Osprey Mutant 38.